The CSSLP, to those who are not aware, is uh, first and foremost a, a holistic certification. It is uh, not uh, something that uh, people perceive it as just another certification. It is holistic from the nature of security being built into the life cycle from requirement to, uh, to release. And actually we even go into the retirement aspect of the software itself. So it's not just requirement to release, but into retirement. It's holistic also from the standpoint that it assesses the, the knowledge and skills of, uh, of candidates and security professionals from various angles. So it looks at the business side of things, it looks at the technical side of things as well, which is crucial for any software development project. So on one hand, while product managers and project managers can benefit from knowing what needs to be built into the software, we also go on the technical side of things and things like the most dangerous uh, programming errors, the, the top 10 application risks, security risks, all that is actually part of that assessment of knowledge that we do within the CSSLP. So as I see it, the role of the ASAC and the CSSLP is that we on the ASAC need to drive much more visibility demand and make people understand why they need to, to take software security and software design more seriously. And the certification will enable people to fill that demand with the properly trained workforce that has a base level understanding of how to do this. So I see the CSSLP certification from ISC Square changes in the landscape by setting a bar. Okay, I think the point is, is that what we've looked at over time is, is that somehow we've left the software developers at times to their own devices. Just like at times we leave the database folks to their own devices. It's because if we touch the code, we touch the database. And this is coming from before I was in the industry. This is coming from uh, before I was on the, on, the, on the vendor side of the industry. I was 19 years as a, as a CSO and a CIO and a, a network manager. We don't want to ask hard questions of these folks at times because we do want to get the, the, get the product out the door, get the software out the door. Well, the amount of remediation that we have to do after the fact cripples us. When 80% of what we do is remediating the, the problems that we could have potentially solved, how, how do we ever get ahead? We, we only have 20% of what we do in innovation. That's not a good way to be. We need to flip that bit completely from 80-20 to 50-50 to 20-80. We should be 20 in a maintenance cycle and 80% on innovation. Now imagine where you are in five years, in 10 years, when you have a secure foundation with a CSSLP with some kind of bar that's set. Imagine where that puts us. That puts us on par with what the medical aspects, with the, you know, with the nano stuff that is being developed, all these types of things. Now software gets to that level. You think back, think about the rut we've been in in software for the last 20 years. Why does it exist? It exists because we don't secure the foundation. Because we're always having to go back and patch the situation. Now we've seen some companies that have jumped forward now on the, on the information security side, okay? On the anti-malware side. They're actually leveraging the chips. They're leveraging these types of things to actually make the system better. But we have to demand of all the vendors that we, that we do that. That we make the very best code that comes out of the organizations, that's what the foundation is going forward. And that should be demanded by the consumers such that those companies are the ones that stand to the front. And that's what the CSSLP means to me. What I do see is the evangelism that comes from ISC Squared to help raise visibility for the software security problem that then allows individuals to align on a common nomenclature and a common uh, body of knowledge that allows peers to interact and be able to communicate appropriately. So when I'm working for industry and I'm asking to procure software and I'm actually looking to procure software from someone selling software, perhaps now I have a, a common nomenclature that I can use in the discussion whether it be contractual language, whether it be uh, you know, detailed technical review conversations, whatever it may be. So having peers across the table have a common understanding, that's really where I see the, the value of certification. It gives people more of a solution to the security issues, and then it's also about the relationships that can help be built from it. That's how the CSSLP and ISS work make a difference.